And so, here we are, back in another episode of J. Um, yeah, I decided to make the, the party its own episode. Happens on a Saturday, so, you know, we just had a Ruby event. Now it's the party. And the music's incredible. Junior's Club. New design, new opening, new era. Not that I've ever seen the old version. That's what the promotional material says. Anyway, I don't really know how much about clubs, but I, I don't really know much about clubs, but I love the place. The colors in particular mesh so well together. What did you say the name of the designer was? Honey Void. One of Elvis' teammates introduced her to me, and man, isn't she something? Speaking of which, where's Evelyn? Wasn't she with you? Actually, she's already inside. She left before we did, so we didn't catch a glimpse of her new clothes. <laughs> eh? How in tarnation did I miss her? I've been here since this afternoon. Oh, maybe they've seen her. Hey, girls! As I follow Yang's gaze to properly identify the they in the sentence, I can see her eyes lay on two particularly dressed girls. I do not look out of the place in the club, though. Peculiarly. Peculiarly. <laughs> Mm. Peculiarly dressed girls. Also, they seem to be trying their damnedest to ignore Yang. Come on, don't be like that. Who's the boss tonight? As she says that, the two girls look at each other and sigh, before reluctantly walking closer to us, which allows me to take a better look. Melanie and Milta? Yeah, it's Milta. Hey Melanie, Milta, how's it going? Well enough until we had to interact with you, Chrome Cow. If you need a milking, I'm afraid we're fresh out of empty jugs. Oh wow, these two do not like Yang. Poster girls for sore loser, are you? You just got lucky, Goldilocks. Enjoy the memory, because it was a one-time occurrence. Yeah, yeah, have you seen a rabbit flannis girl with purple hair today? Not that I can think of. Maybe she had a costume with a wig. Hmm, that would explain it. There's no anyone, and there's no way anyone could have recognized her that way. Isn't her hair more pink though? She was the one with the trench coat. A trench coat? Yeah, that does sound like something Evelyn would do. How do you know that? Ninja secret. Ninja, you can't leave me hanging like that, Blake. So, when I head in, the crowd's moving. Gladly! Let's. Carrots avoided us enough. Good. Thanks all the same. Melanie and Milta, right? Their features are almost identical. Are these two twins? No, they're clones. Well, at least someone remembered to thank us. I swear on this hairpin, I will tear her hair out. Bum, 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 bum. Yikes, what the hell did Yang do to be hated so much? Somehow, I really don't want to know. So, this is a club. So many people! Damn, it's like another climate in here. I know, right? It's a Saturday, and there's an opening for a new place, so it's to be expected, but wow, the mass of people dancing and just hanging around here increases the heat to another level. You should really forgo the jacket, Jackie, or you won't survive. That voice, Evelyn, I feel a grin coming to my face. Finally got you. It's not like you caught me, bucko. I just stopped running. I turn around, the curiosity that's driven me crazy about to finally be satiated. Yeah, that's more pink than purple. Her eyes, those are purple. But Evelyn? Haha, <laughs> I got you. I got you. That's the reaction I wanted. Gods above carrots, you went all out with this costume, didn't you? And I even managed to not mess up the colors this time. You, you look so pretty, Evelyn. Yeah, so pretty. Don't get me wrong, Evelyn looks pretty even in her normal clothes or in her uniform, but this... 
This costume looks tailor-made for her to look her very best on the level that her other clothes don't even neighbor. More, more, praise me more. I, I feel underdressed. This is a new sensation. No, stop right there, partner. What? I excuse me? Evelyn is turning in Penny's direction and is now poking her in the chest with one finger and a big pout on her face. This is a party. You're supposed to have fun. Not moat because you don't have a pretty custom made dress authored by an awesome tailor. Ah, Evelyn, Penny is looking my direction, so probably looking for help. But, no buts. Initiate grfex.exe. I haven't downloaded that patch yet. Um, I mean, what? Carrots, I admire your spirit. But I doubt your partner can simply cheer up on commands like a computer. Hmm, true. We need drastic measures then. Poor Penny. And I bet poor me in a few seconds. She's turning in my direction. She's turning my direction, so I wonder what kind of setup for. Wilson, dance with Penny. What? what? R run that by me again? You, my partner, the dance floor. But I can't. What? Are you saying you're too good to dance with my partner just to be his? No, I'm saying I can't dance. Period. I, I don't know how to dance either. I lack the required knowledge. So does everyone else here. No excuses. <coughs> Evelyn. Oh, watch it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> hey. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. That little. Are you okay, Penny? Y yes, I'm alright. Thanks for your concern. Punting us in the spot like that. <clears throat> that was purposely misinterpreted. That was a purposely misinterpreted sentence, Penny. Oh, I see. Hey, watch it, pal. And he completely ignored me. I I guess we only have a limited space to move. Yeah, we should get out. Yeah, but why? Because we can't dance? I know that, but... <laughs> Maybe we could try? Well, you sure you're okay with me? Absolutely. <laughs> yep, the standard I don't know how to dance sign, seeing them just sway side to side. See, my methods may be out there, but I bring results. They do seem to be having fun, although carrots, I'm surprised. After that thing in the library, I didn't think you'd give the first dance to Penny. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna have to read a million embarrassing sentences out loud over the course of this. Oh, it's no big deal. She's been looking forward to this ever since Yang invited us. She's my partner and such a sweet girl. She can have the first dance. I'll get something else. You mean, here? But where would you even... I didn't come here early just for the surprise effect, you know. I like that music. Oh, why did you even stop playing the music then? David's tired. I mean, I'm tired. Oh my god. How long have we been dancing? I'm drenched in sweat and my legs are cramping. Penny seems completely unaffected. Instead, how much energy, energy does she have? She also seems to be having a ton of fun. Penny, I need a break. You need a... Oh, of course. Alright. We found out that Penny absolutely loves dancing. I'm so sorry. I should have realized. Hey, it's okay. Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Thanks, Wilson. For what? For indulging me, dancing with me. Ever since I've met you, I've, I've done so many new things. Met new people. I, I just want to say thank you for, for being my friend and being there for me. There's no need to thank me for that, but you're welcome, Penny. <laughs> I guess her finding me was a catalyst for a big change in her life, considering what General Iron was like when she told me about her past. I'm glad I could make that change happen. Mystery spider assholes be damned. Um, speaking of friends, Penny, we got a problem. Evelyn, what happened? What do you mean a problem? Ruby drank too much. What? You can't catch me, Weiss. Yang, this is all your fault. Aw, oh, come on. Let her live a little, I say. <laughs> the party has officially gone off rails. 
Why would someone let her drink, period? She's 15. She is also a hunter in training at a secondary grade combat academy. Since we start going on life ranking missions on the first year of curriculum, we are adults in the eyes of the law. Seriously? Anyway, Lice needs some help for a pincer maneuver. Oh, certainly. I'll see you later then, Wilson. Be sure to hydrate. So, had fun? Oh, um, yeah, I did, but man, did that tire me out. Why is it that I got cramps despite Mara? Because it's not damage from a threat, it's damage from exertion. If it blocked that as well, no one would be able to exercise. Hmm, makes sense. Hey, if you want to rest, there's an upper floor. Oh, well, I can just sit on one of these chairs instead of a large, soft couch. Uh, how am I supposed to say no to that? Let me just grab a drink. I already thought of that. What? Hey, Evelyn. Wait a minute. Is this the VIP room? Hmm, courtesy of the owner. Evelyn, how did you get key the keys for this room? I borrowed them from Yang. Borrowed as in. As in I asked if I could use it. Honestly, you think so little of me. That's why I think so little of you. Is that you would find it amusing. No, I can't deny that. But I couldn't really do it. You couldn't? What stopped you? Didn't want to risk an interruption. Interruption? Hey, I thought Yang hadn't seen her all night. Interruption of what? I sit on the nearby couch and grab one of the water, water bottles on the tab. What? Do not know how to spell table? This is a word I do not recognize. Tablinet. Ah, I needed that. Do you need this room to do something in particular? You could say that. Yes. Why is she getting so close all of a sudden? Uh, Evelyn? Hmm? Remember that thing about personal space? I do. And? Well, do you remember? That I don't really care much about that rule? Yep, I'm gonna have to read all this out. Well, I suppose I couldn't, but... It's funny if I do, so I have to read all this out. She's she's in my lap. She's sitting in my lap, and her arms are on my shoulders. My face is warming up. My heart is beating way too fast, and I can't stop looking into her eyes. I can't stop looking at her eyes. Did I let the bobble fall to the ground? What am I doing with my hands? Where do I put them? What's wrong? You're shaking. I, it's not that something's wrong, but... Evelyn, what are you... <laughs> I know I need to spell it out. Wilson, there's a cute girl sitting in your lap in a secluded room. What do you think is happening here? Ugh. I'm not, it's just, I should not have named him Wilson. Is this real life? No fantasy. Her arms are slow, her arms slowly move backwards, trailing on my shoulders until her hands grip them softly. I can feel her heart and a lovely floral scent coming off her skin and her hair. Evelyn? Hee <laughs> hee, Penny caught me. Penny wins. Never, ever let her go. In fact, may I suggest the drunk tank as the vernacular goes? I don't think that will be necessary. I will be sure to keep her restrained until the effects of alcohol die down. Considering her body size, it may be a while. Not a problem, leader. As Wilson may testify, I have plenty of energy. Now let's go, Ruby. Wee to the dank wank. No, Ruby. Drunk tank. Lank shank? Drunk tank. <sighs> Honestly, sometimes it feels like I have a big, overgrown baby as a partner. Want to trade? Sorry, I got kind of attached to Wilson. Also, Penny and Evelyn would never forgive me. Speaking of Evelyn, I saw her persuade Wilson and Penny to dance, but then I caught a glimpse of her pulling him upstairs a little while ago. What's up with that? <clears throat> Sorry, I've got yeah, too much saliva in my mouth. 
saliva. You seem to have the whole picture. I do? You mean, um, that's peculiar. That's our team in a nutshell. I see. But as a leader, aren't you worried this will end badly? Honestly, if it was anyone but Penny, Evelyn, and Wilson involved, I would be worried. But because it's them, I actually think this will go well. For everyone except you, I guess. Excuse me? Just saying, if it goes as well as you think it goes, you all share the same sleeping space. Oh gods, bloody damn it, I hadn't thought of that. You never do until it happens. You should have seen the first time my older sister snuck a boy in our room during a party. Your parents were incredibly rich. Why did you share a room? Heh, <laughs> you know why you're different than I thought you'd be. Didn't think a Shani could talk about this kind of stuff? But that's not what I meant. Jack, it's okay, I understand. I may not be involved in the family business, but I read the news growing up. I heard the rumors. I remember the name Ivory. So, it was no rumor. No. I, I was there when it happened. You mean, your father? I, I don't even know what to say. This is unforgivable. You, you're crying? I, I apologize, it's just... The, the Shinin Company was founded on my grandfather, Nicholas, my mother's father. My father made it big and more profitable than it's ever been. But he also dragged it through the mud, and the blood of the people he crushed underfoot. I am more and more aware of it with each day I spend away from Atlas. And there's no white fang to shade it in gray this time. The Shinin Company, my grandfather's legacy, is stained with the blood of innocence. <laughs> I'm sorry, Weiss. You are sorry? I know, I know, sounds crazy, but the thing is, no matter what happened to them, I love my family and I'm proud of them. Can you say that? My mother is a con in a continuous drunken super to escape the loveless marriage she's in, and how her family is falling apart. My little brother hates me, and my father. Well, at least I have Winter, even if I rarely see her. At least her. And hey, if you ever want to talk about this, give me a call. How did I end up being the one comforted here? I told you, peculiar is our team's motto. <sighs> Having to keep a low profile really sucks. Hopefully we can use the safe house once they arrive. Although with Bella around, I don't know exactly how safe the place will be. Honestly, the boss wanting to keep her close so far suited me just fine. I wonder about the sudden change of heart. It's not like those guys are strong enough to cause us problems. Just Wesser would be enough. Well, at least that means the boss got strong enough to. At least that means the boss got strong enough to not need her protection anymore. Let's go. Son of a bitch, this is the third time tonight. Stupid draft, stupid win, stupid ruins, where's the lighter? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Nun Howard. I've got you covered. God damn it, Bella, what's the big idea? You almost gave me a heart attack. Only almost? Ah. Right. Also, hi boss. Scylla. Howard, you're looking scruffy. Considering I've been hiding from this forest for the last week, it's to be expected. No matter how hands-off Oz can be, there's no way he didn't request an investigation. He hasn't. Excuse me? We came on an airship in the Vale, remember? Asked a policeman, there's no ongoing investigation regarding an attack on Houston students. Is he trying some kind of psychological warfare on us or something? What the hell is the deal with that guy? He needs information. He'll get, he believes he'll get more out of us acting again than from hunting us. So he waits. But that puts people at risk. Uh, 
remnant to Howard? That's a good thing for us. I know it is, but it's so damn- Ah! Well, ah, Bella. Who cares about some stupid old man? We care, considering he's one of the strongest hunters in existence. Who does nothing but sit on his wrinkly ass in his tower all day, playing a game of imaginary chess against pieces he can't see and doesn't try to see. I didn't come here for him. I came here for my big brother. <laughs> the fuck is she talking about? And this is where the first build of the game that I played ended off, I do believe. So, thanks so much for watching. I've been having a great time playing. Was, that was that was such a cliffhanger, let me tell you the first time. I legit thought, who's your brother, who's your brother? I thought it was the main character. You'll have to watch to see, but that was my first instinct. I was like, oh, she's another meteor child or something, you know? But, 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 I do believe, well, you'll have to see, it. wait and see. The most logical conclusion wasn't that. I was going to say what I think would have been more logical now that I think about it, but, 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 I won't give you any other hints, just what I thought the first time, and you're all going to have to wait and see. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.